Edge, welcome back to our final, our final in this series of Dreaming. Here comes the Dreamer. We'll be looking at the life of Joseph from the book of Genesis. And I want to carry on today by picking up where we left off yesterday. And it's this whole idea that when it comes to the God dreams for your life, the setback is a set up. When we look at Genesis 39, it says, Now Joseph had been taken down to Egypt. And the setback is usually the things that make you feel like you've been taken down. Joseph had been taken down to Egypt. And the setback is as as, is emotional as much as it is spiritual. It's It's a contradiction to what your confidence is in. It's a blow to your plan. And we all know what it's like to have a blow to our plans. Listen to what it says in Genesis 39. Now Joseph had been taken down to Egypt as a slave, of course, sold into slavery. Potiphar, an Egyptian who was one of Pharaoh's officials, the captain of the guard, bought him from the Ishmaelites who'd taken him there. The Lord was with Joseph so that he prospered and he lived in the house of his Egyptian master. When his master saw that the Lord was with him and that the Lord gave him success in everything he did, dot, dot, dot. Let me read it again. When his master saw the Lord was with him, And the Lord gave him success in everything he did. So his setback, his knockdown, was an actual fact used by God as a setup to success. So Potiphar sees favor all over Joseph and brings him to a place of leadership and influence. But also when we jump down to chapter 45 of Genesis, we read this. Joseph said to his brothers, I am Joseph. Is my father still living? But his brothers were not able to answer him because they were so terrified at his presence. Then Joseph said to his brothers, come close to me. When they'd done so, he said, I am your brother Joseph, the one you sold into slavery. And now do not be distressed and do not be angry with yourselves for selling me here. And Look what the Bible says. Because it was to save lives that who? God sent me ahead of you. And in chapter 45, verse 8, So then it was not you who sent me here, but God. He made me father to Pharaoh, lord of his entire household, and ruler of all Egypt. You see, whenever you have been knocked down, God can work his hand to his glory. And I think when we look at Joseph, we see that yes, he was knocked down, but the dreams of God for his life came to pass. And I want to say it's exactly the same for you. As you put your trust and your confidence in God, the knockbacks, the setbacks can be a set up. When I look at Genesis chapter 42 verse 8, it says Joseph recognized his brothers, but the brothers did not recognize him. And then later it says they went up out of Egypt and came back to their father Jacob in the land of Canaan. They said to their father, Joseph is still alive. In fact, he is ruler of of all of Egypt. Jacob was stunned. He did not believe them. But when they told him everything Joseph had said to them, and when he saw the carts that Joseph had sent to carry him back, the spirit of their father, Jacob, revived. And I think that's a really important verse when we think about setbacks, knockdowns, when it comes to dreams. Because I believe that some of you are mourning a lost dream. But see what God did? The Bible says the spirit of their father, Jacob, revived. And my prayer is this, is if you have a loss of dreaming at all in your life, and there's a sense of mourning within you and sadness, the prayer is this, is that the spirit of God will revive you as he revives the dream within you. Genesis chapter 47 says this, Joseph brought his father, Jacob, in and presented him before Pharaoh. After Jacob blessed Pharaoh... Wow. Then Jacob blessed Pharaoh and went out from his presence. So look how the tables have turned. Joseph is sold into slavery. Jacob is in mourning. Jacob, his father, is in mourning. But God has turned things around. And now Jacob, Joseph's father, is blessing Pharaoh. God loves to turn the tables. I want to encourage you in 2024, live in an atmosphere of favor. What does that mean? That means this, 
That means that in everything, through everything, through the highs, the lows, and in the middles, live with an atmosphere of favor. This expectation all around you that everything will be okay. It's not uh, to, it doesn't mean that you ignore the problems and the challenges as they arrive. Faith doesn't cause us to put our head in the sand and ignore the circumstance around our life. It doesn't at all. Faith recognizes the reality of the season and the circumstance, but keeps its eyes fixed on God. Remember this, friends. You are a favored son and daughter of the Most High God. And may it be said over you in this season, here comes the dreamer. The Bible says in John 10 verse 10 that the thief comes to steal, kill and destroy. But Jesus says, I have come that you might have life and have it to the full. So in this season, keep dreaming. Keep your eyes fixed on Jesus and know this, that God is a God who is faithful and can bring the dreams to pass. May God bless you. Have an amazing 2024. And I look forward to seeing you in church really soon. Much love.